Hello friends, welcome back to PW Medded YouTube channel. I'm Dr. Anjit, your pathology faculty at PW Medded. So today in this video, I'm going to talk about a very important burning question in the minds of every NEET UG aspirant in the country who wants to enter the medical college, get an MBBS degree from a prestigious institution. Is MBBS really, really, really expensive like the media portraits or is MBBS really worth it like the pessimistic Twitter portraits? So if you're first time in this, to this channel, hit the subscribe button. Let's learn more about medicine and pathology in the coming years. So first, let's take my situation. I did my MBBS from Government Kielpok Medical College, Chennai, and I did my PG, that's MD in pathology from Jibma Pondicherry. Both of my college degrees were from a government college. The average spend, what I have spent in, for my MBBS, in one year of my MBBS fee was 5,000 rupees, and one year of my PG residency fee was 10,000 rupees. So put together, 4 into 5, 20,000 rupees and 3 into 10, 30,000 rupees, right? The entire degree, both MBBS and MD put together, costed just 50,000 rupees. That's all, the tuition fee alone. There are additional fees, which I'll definitely talk about it. So now, for an aspirant who is trying to enter into a government college, is it really a far-fetched dream? Actually, it's not. What we need is your hard work, determination, learn, excel, and yes, you can do it at a very, very affordable cost in our country. There are multiple things which might add on to the cost in an MBBS curriculum, right? So I'm going to divide the expenses into the fee and the hostel, if you are a hostel, right? And the learning resources as well, because that also is going to add to the expense, right? Let's divide the fees, the tuition fee, amongst government college and private college. I'll talk first about government college and definitely I'll come to the private college as well. The government college in our country ranges from just 5,000 rupees for 5 years in aims like institutions up to 1.6 to 1.7 lakh rupees in few government colleges in few states in our country. Pondicherry is one of the places where the fee is a little bit on the higher side and there are few rural colleges which are newly opened are a bit on the higher side to substantiate to help the government to run the institution. Right? On an average, I would say most of the government colleges in our country range somewhere around 50 to 60,000 rupees fee per year of MBBS, which is definitely affordable for a prestigious degree like MBBS. Is that the only cost? Definitely no. Like I said, hostel. If you are a hostelite, if you're going to stay in the hostel, that will definitely add on to the cost. Again, the fee varies from 300, 400 rupees in few government institutions to 18, 19,000 rupees per month in few government institutions, which might include accommodation as well as the mess fees, right? So again, it's a varied thing. But I can take on an average approximately 10,000 rupees per month, close to 1.2 lakhs rupees per year. So if I'm going to take this part alone, the fee and the hostel and the accommodation, the food, everything, it's approximately, uh, let's say, 60, 70,000 rupees per year of MBBS. Four years of MBBS split together, it's going to cost you somewhere in the ballpark of 3 to 4 lakh rupees on an average, right? That's the fee, hostel and the mess. The next thing is, learning resources. Is it really expensive? Are the books bigger and expensive? Yes, the books are bigger. It will cost you approximately four to five thousand rupees per year of MBBS to get the books. If you feel you cannot afford that, don't worry. Almost every college in my country has an amazing library facility where you have the latest books available or you can download it online and read. The only thing like I said is what we require is your time and the intention and the persistence in learning MBBS and excelling in MBBS, that's all. In addition to that, for preparing for the NEET, PG or the next exam, if you want any extra additional thing, PW Medad is one of the most affordable platform available for you, where you can get the entire thing at a approximately range of 10,000 to 15,000 rupees per year, through split through five years, fine? So that's your learning resources. In addition to the learning resources, the books and the study materials or the video lectures available, you might be required to purchase your BP apparatus, stethoscopes, inch tapes, knee hammers, and few dissection kits in the start. It might again cost you, but again, these are one-time investments. It's not going to repeat every year, right? So maybe put a ballpark of 10,000 rupees for a basic kit available. Throughout for five years, you can use them. Maybe when you go to internship, when you're going to get paid, you will definitely get half or even the entire money what is spent in the entire uh, MBBS for four years in the internship. Because after MBBS, Every doctor will have paid internship. Most of the government colleges pay in the range of 15, 20, 25, 30,000 rupees per month. So like I said, you will most likely get all the money back of whatever you spend during the entire MBBS 
from internship if you're going to do it from a government college. So yes, MBBS is cheap. It's not like very, very expensive like what the media portrays. There are close to 300 to 400 medical colleges in a country which operates on the same amount of money which I talked about. The next question is, what happens to a private medical college? Yes, private medical colleges are expensive. The cost of private medical college comes somewhere uh, in the range of 4-5 lakhs per year up to 25 lakh rupees per year. And all the college's fee, tuition fee are available in the NMC website. Before you enroll to a college, they are supposed to tell you the fee, including the tuition, additional, every other fee, right? Yes, private college is expensive. In addition to this, you will have the same hostel mess fee, which will definitely be more than a government college and the learning resources will not change. On an average, when you take a private medical college, it's going to cost you somewhere around 6-7 lakh rupees per year up to 25 to 30 lakh rupees per year. That is really expensive. Now the question, second part of our today's discussion is, is MBBS really worthy? If you have the passion to become a doctor and if you excel in the UG and if you're going to get into government medical college, don't think about anything, get into it. Because it's one of the most beautiful branches in the world. You are the most privileged person in the world who knows how human body works. You are the only person in the world who knows how brain works, how brain thinks. Yes, it is a privilege indeed to become a doctor. When you come to a private medical college, is it worth enough to spend 50, 60 lakhs or maybe a crore and above to get an MBBS? I would want to dissect that. Maybe we'll do that in something else in another video. But to have a very basic discussion, if you have a backup, if you're not going to put a student loan for every single penny you spend here, if you have a backup, if you already have a hospital existing, yes, it is worth it. Otherwise, it's a question of debate. Like I said, we'll discuss that in the next video. Coming to the end of the video, is MBBS really worthy? I would want to end this video by saying, yes, MBBS is indeed worthy. For a person like me, I never had a backup. I never had a background. The only thing which helped me was my degree, my learning and the hard work. So if you're ready to put the hard work, yes, MBBS is worthy. It's not so bad like what my Twitter says. It's not so bad like every medical aspirant is going to say. Yes, it is a hard grind. I am not denying that fact. But it's a worthy grind if you are ready to put the work, if you are a type A personality, if you get addicted to patients, seeing patients and the reward of having a successful treatment, it is definitely worth it. There are a few ifs and buts here. Let's discuss on it soon in the coming subsequent videos. Put in the comment box what do you feel? Is MBBS worth it or not? I might take us. Yes, it's worth it. It's one of the degrees without a backup. You can earn decently immediately after finishing MBBS, right? See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye from Doc Transit. Bye-bye.